Welcome everybody to RVT Rashid's video tube. In conjunction with RVT with Rashid that's not how you are doing. What are you doing, my pants? Welcome everybody to RVT Rashid's video tube. In conjunction with JC Rashid's music jukebox center. And I have Rashid Dorman coming online on social media, YouTube, Google, and other social media platforms. How you guys doing? Glad you guys are here. Let's get things done the way here. I have to do, by the time we listen to this, uh, our food shopping be done. It's early in the morning. I have to run out to food shopping. And I'm like, oh, the day night today when it's rainy. I'm not complaining. Well, we're not really complaining because it's such a beautiful day. On the other hand, if it was beautiful, sunny, and monkeys every place, it'd be like, oh, man, this is, this is fucking curses. But it's a beautiful day, so it should be a smooth shopping experience. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm not complaining at all, one bit. Uh, yeah, it's in the morning time, man. So it's like, you know, like, fuck. Uh, trying to get myself together and shit. And cold out my guys got the bathroom washing up and everything. It's like, all right, now I've got to go and get dressed. But I want to go in the air and make this real fast. So we'll be, so by the time we come home, we have something, you know, something to look at. I could, we could have did this shit. Yeah, we got up real early, but I fell back to sleep again. Ain't no way I was getting out of bed through dick and everything. But I tell you, I'm up now, and I'm trying to get things done. And I'm trying, and I'm looking around like I'm Sammy the Snake. That fucking shit like that and shit. Ah, anyway, how you guys doing um, on this? What day is it, for Christ's sake? What what day is it? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. And that's why we get shows like this, because these kind of shows are not real. Yeah, they're not real show shows, but they're they're cute shows. They're little, like, like pop them. You pop them in your mouth, like. Yeah, like shit like that. That's what kind of show this is. He's getting a little taste of RVT until the um, syndication come on. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, and this is interesting. Let me roll me a cigarette. Hold on for a minute. First, let me get something on the air here. By the time I turn this off, I ain't going to be able to edit it. Yeah, as soon as we turn it off, we're going to walk right out the door. So I think that's convenient. I was going to videotape out in the street. But people are not... And y'all other YouTubers out there, y'all know what I'm talking about. People are not really communicative these days. I guess that's why you hardly ever see a YouTuber out in the street talking to something like people. Unless it's somebody geared towards that to talk to like homeless people and stuff like that. But in general people are not really talkative. You know, it's very hard to do. It's very, very hard to do. So I would bring these out and start talking out in the street and everything. I just wanna just go out there and do what I yeah, we gotta do what we gotta do. And just get back in the house, dude. I I don't even feel like um fucking around out in the streets, dude. But it will be cool to do that, which we're going to do, but not now. I just rather take care of business and get back home. I don't want to be out there, and, you know, filming shit, man. I don't find nothing fucking fascinating to film out there, dude. Hey, Rashid, what's up, man? So, so here we go. Uh, I got something to talk about. I got something to talk about. Because it makes the passenger forget to read the 
known as Ajax Cassidy. You'll also hear from Fred Allen, Bob Hope, Gracie Allen, Marion Molly McGee Jordan, Eddie Cantor, Danny Bryce, and others. That's how NBC was the ship. So, here's the deal. Here's the deal, man. Yeah, yeah. But that looked interesting. Maybe you want to check that out later on. Um, let me see. I want to talk about this situation I have. And the situation I have is kind of odd. I'll tell you why it's odd. Because I don't know if they mimic me or not. I don't know. I don't know if they mimic me or not. But here's the deal. I'm talking about this. These Christian shows. These Christian shows. Christian movies. They try to get you and shit, like, okay, it's, it comes on a movie, you find, you search it for something to watch, and you come across something on social media, it's really fucking good. So you start watching it, it's a movie, looks interesting, looks good, and then you find out, wait a minute, I'm burnt, I'm burnt, I'm burnt. This is a Christian movie, and that's how they get you. They don't tell you it's a Christian movie. You just keep, it look like a regular Hollywood movie. So you watch it and then you find, oh, I'm burnt. This is a Christian movie. You know? It keeps, it kept happening to me again. Again, again, that's when we find out about this pure flicks. People making fun of pure flicks. Pure flicks is like Netflix, but they call it pure flicks because all the movie on it is Christian movies, it's Christian material. Not just movies, I'm sure they got other things too. So basically, the platform is made of only Christian material. They call it pure flicks rather than Netflix. Some of it, how can I say this? All right, first of all, my dislikes. I couldn't stand. I, I I watched some Christian movies and they were pretty fucking good. They were they were pretty good. <clears throat> now, then like. Well, I, I, when I first started watching it, guys, I couldn't stand it. I mean, it's like, it was like mixed. You know how you, it's mixed, guys. If you really give the, 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 the Christian movies a chance, you'll see that it's mixed. It's mixed. Some are good, some are bad. I was like, oh, gosh, this is, you know, this, it just makes you feel a certain way when you're watching it. The Christian movies. Like you wondering, you know. Do they know what they're doing and stuff like that? And surprisingly, some celebrities, Hollywood, a lot of Hollywood celebrities are part of it, are Christians. So they're part of it. They, they're in it also. And maybe I could get some names up next time. Pure Flick. Would you believe that? Of course, it's old news. This ain't no new news. I mean, who ever heard of it? I mean, like. Pure flakes. All Christian material. 
They got black people and white people together. There's no racism and stuff. Uh, it's racist as hell, in my opinion. They just not saying that about it. I think they was trying to, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying, sweetie. Well, but you say, yeah, they was trying to create controversy because they are. They race, they are. They, in my opinion, they they fucking racist. They, they are. They, they be tripping. Okay, they tripping. They be tripping on that race thing. They are. In my opinion, they are. But they come off as not racist, so I'll give them that. Yeah, I'll go right there. They come off as that, but they are. They fucking, uh... They are racist. They come off. They, they got these movies on here. That, that are very interesting to watch. They're very interesting to watch. They, it's not like you're wasting your time. Especially if you're a Christian. But don't expect to say anything. There's a lot I gotta say about this. Because I find myself, because I'm coming, you know how YouTube got your algorithm going, and your next suggested movie is based off what you watch on, so on YouTube. Y'all know that. Y'all know y'all got your suggestions on, yeah. On YouTube, when you watch them, you know, they base it on what you watch. And that's what makes YouTube fun. When you go look at your front page, it's all based on what you stream, what you watch. So then I find myself, I'm trapped up in this fucking spider web of Christian movies. And I'm not realizing that they're Christian movies. I don't know if they're good movies or not. And guess what? I'm starting to like it. I don't know if that's a setup. If they did that to be smart answers. I don't know if they did that to be because it's a hell of a catch. Because I'm, we actually really starting to like these fucking uh, Christian movies here. And on top of that, on top of that, I feel so spiritual with it. Now y'all know on RBT we have our own. Spiritual shows on here. Some were was an experiment. Some were an experiment, and some were yeah. Some was an experiment, and some were some were just you know the colony and everything like that. I find myself what I'm trying to say is because it's kind of hard to say. I find myself liking. Christian movies, man. I find myself starting to like Christian movies. And we're watching these uh, Christian movies. And it's like, well, I told my people, well, guys, if we like it, we're starting to like these Christian movies. Why don't we just get Pure Flix? They said, no, we ain't getting no Pure Flix. But it's still debatable if we still, if we like these Christian movies so much. Why not just get pure flicks? Because I'm really starting to like these movies. I got one on pause now and I have to finish. Yeah, we have to finish that one by some girl who was on a cheerleader squad. And then she got in an accident. And it's always the person is great convert to be a Christian. We just saw, I mean, it's a very interesting, these spiritual Christian movies are very interesting. Some of them are very interesting. The acting sucks. <laughs> the acting sucks dude. I'm not going to fuck a lot of you The acting sucks And of course it's like hand me, Some of them are hand me down But you get the significance Of what the movie What the Christian um, And I'm like Am I starting to like Christian movies here What the fuck is going on here I got my Wait a minute I'm not starting to like Christian movies dude. 
Why well, not like Christian movies? Pure flicks. You ain't got, and when you watch it, you kind of like watch it with RVT. You know, you, you ain't got to worry about seeing no shit. You can relax. It's like I'm really starting to like these Christian movies. But here's the thing about it. What they play on Pure Flicks, they play on YouTube. I mean, you could just go watch Christian movies all over. I ain't got to get Pure Flicks, guys. That's what I'm saying, sweetie. It's right on um, YouTube. It's right on YouTube. But if you, I guess if you want the full benefit, you want to get the whole Pure Flix thing. All Christian material all the time. All the time. No matter what it is, it's Christian. It should be spiritual. Won't we'll Sid Roth do something like this? Because, see, this is why I say that. Because we, you're saying Christian material, Christian material. What about if you're a Baptist or Muslim or yeah or Hindu? I mean, you shutting everybody else out. It's one way of thinking. This is a network for one type of religion of, of worship. You'll get more out of it if it was a spiritual network. A spiritual network will cover a variety of religions. That way, you'll get more. You'll get. That's what I'm saying. You'll get more info. You'll get more traffic. You'll get more traffic coming in. But right now, you just you're signaling Christians. But then again, it's not Christian flicks. It's pure flicks. So maybe they do cover that. I don't know. It's not necessarily Christian flicks. I mean, you know. It's pure flicks, but it's all Christian material. Jesus is in there. You know, you ain't going to see Allah. Allah, you know, it's always Jesus, and it's pure flicks. <clears throat> but what I'm trying to say is, don't you think they'll get more out of it if they just went spiritual and had a variety of spiritual um, content to look at rather than just one that's Christianity? All the, all the movies geared towards Jesus. It's like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying when a variety comes in, they got pure flicks comedy. Now, I know Sinbad is a heavy Christian. You know, y'all know Sinbad. And I told y'all I sat through that shit before. And I said, why the fuck did I do that? Why did I sit through this this shit? See, a lot of celebrities are Christian. Now, Sinbad is a hard Christian. There's a lot of celebrities that are hard Christians, guys. And they have Christian comedy. Like stand-up. Like, um, what did they have on BET before? They had that, um... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You send back on fire. You go find work in Christianity. You gonna find work in Christian. If you need a job, a how you a Christian and you're a Hollywood actor, whatever. You gonna find work. Though. All you gotta do is step over to God, and God gonna bless you. Like He blessed Sinbad, obviously. And it's a whole, almost like Hollywood, a Christian material that they um trying to build up movies, comedy shows, of all Christian material. Of all Christian, I do mean Christian, because um I don't see the words, I see pure flakes, and, and you... And you, you you say Christian, you, you don't see Baptists up. Maybe I'm wrong because I don't have it. Maybe, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why well, speak on something that we don't have it? But when we go there, it's Korean people talking about it. The interview about it is about Christianity. And I wish I had, it would be nice if I had the time to pull up the, the commercial to add what is a pure flicks about. And I could show you guys 
But I don't think I have time to do that because, like I told you, I got run out this morning and everything. I ain't got time to be on here that long. But that'll be cool if I can pull it up so we can look at it. And I'm sure. And then I heard the guy say with well, Christian material, you know. Then there's something else on TBN, something like that. It's TBN and CBN, something like their Christian networks. And that guy from uh, uh, that 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 Cam Kirk Cameron got a show on here, TBN or something like that, or SBN, something like that. So you got, then you got pure fix. There's so many stuff in the world that a Christian can go and look at and get really entertained here. And their celebrities. Louis, Louis Anderson is a Christian. I didn't know Louis Anderson was a Christian. Louis Anderson is a Christian. We got a lot of Hollywood celebrities crossing over through and finding God. Everybody's finding God now. I wonder what gives. I wonder what gives. Everybody's finding God. I've been in the game since I was a child. These, I don't know how long these guys been in the game. Either, I'm just saying. Everybody's finding God. One thing's for sure, with all that money they have, with all that money they have, making these movies, Christian movies and everything, they could really kick some serious ass. <clears throat> if they want to go like to, say they want to do Samson and Delilah over again, which I know they did. I saw the poster for it. It look fucking immaculate. They could really hook it up. You know what I'm saying? They could really fucking... They could really tear the shit up, dude. With all the special effects and the money they got. They have. Got me a dollar. No sense. Hey, you rev you're a reverend, uh... I'm Reverend Pope. Reverend Post. Reverend Post. Okay, Reverend Post. You got pure flip? I've got pure flip. <laughs> I've got pure flip. Okay, all right. You got pure flip. I got pure flip. All right. All right. Is it good that like everybody says it's good? It's good. It's good. Yes, all he is good. It's good. It's good, Rashi. It's good. Come get spiritually united. Come get spiritually united. I don't know. I have to think about that. Um, spending money for some of these. Uh, I know they're good movies and all. It's just uh, come get united and go get united in the Christ. Come get united in the Christ. Okay, I will. Maybe I will do that. Maybe I will do that. I don't see nothing wrong with that. I got pure fit. Uh, you got pure. I got pure fit. All right. You got pure flicks. You got pure. That's what I'm trying to tell him. You got pure flicks. That's what I say. I got pure fit. All right. Sound like saying you got a disease. I ain't taking disease. I said I got pure flip. Well, well, it looks like you. It sounds like you sound like you got. I got pure flip. I ain't taking disease. I said I got pure flip. Okay. Praise Jesus. All right. I got pure flip. Well, whatever it is, I don't want to catch it. I got pure flip. Whatever the fuck it is, keep it to yourself. Praise Jesus. If you don't praise him, who else is? I guess. I got pure flip. All right. <laughs> I got fifty. Okay. How much is it a month? Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Come.
come to Christ. Come to Christ. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Did they, hey, look at this. They got Little Women and Pure Flicks. I swear to God. This is a Pure Flicks Little Women. I'm looking at Pure Flicks Little Women and Pure Flicks. Guys, let me tell you something. I was, uh, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. First of all, let's discuss this. This is Little Women. Uh, this is Pure Flicks actually did Little Women in pure in a spiritual fucking thing. So, this uh, do they say God? They probably say God in it. They say Jesus in Little Women. This is like the Little Women uh, novel then. It can't be. How is it gonna be a Little Women novel if they add Jesus name in there? And I'm seeing Pure Flicks Little Women Pure Flicks. So, how could they add Jesus and God and stick? Really? They mm, ain't that some fucking shit? They act, they actually put Jesus and God inside little women. <laughs> Meg, let me see if I remember their names. Meg, Amy, Beth, and Joe. Okay. Uh, all right. So Meg said, "Trust in God, Beth." That's the way they are inside this little women thing. They say, "Trust in God." Trust in the Lord. That's what they say, little women. Perfect, little women. Get the fuck out of here. They say, Beth, you got to trust in God, Joe. Oh, that's beautiful. Praise Jesus. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. They do that. They Really? They actually go and say, Beth, you got to believe in the Lord. When she got sick. Because, you know, one of them got sick on this, I think. So they probably like pray to God and stuff like that. Get out of here. I didn't know. I, wow. I never thought about changing a movie to Christianity. I never thought about. Wow, well, you have to continue change movies to being Christian. What else can you use Star Wars that way? Trust in the Holy Spirit, Lou. Trust in the Holy Spirit, Lou. The Holy Spirit! My God! He made the land. I can see that happening. Dude. If they did Little Women, they gonna start. They gonna start. Dude. They gonna make Christian stuff out of regular movies, and Star Wars gonna be first on them. They gonna be like trust in the Holy Spirit. Mm. <laughs> what is this Holy Spirit? Han, it's God. Han, Jesus. I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe they gonna be all that fucking shit. Rip it! Rip it! Crazy! Rip it! <laughs> okay, well they got little women pure flakes. Okay, but uh, anyway, uh, guys, I'm gonna tell you a story here, and you gotta listen to this. Y'all know I spoke to y'all guys about being a Jehovah's Witness. And I grew up a Jehovah, you know, Jehovah Witness thing. And uh, I found myself, I got upset at one time. Because I'm an adventurer. I am. I'm an adventurer. And that means I like to venture out. I'm like the pokey little puppy. I don't know how many of y'all heard that story as a child, the pokey little puppy. But I'm like the pokey little puppy and shit. So I like to venture out, you know, venture out and stuff. So as coming up, because as, when you're coming up as a, as a certain religion as a child, you're easy to venture out more than if you just join a religion when you got older. You know, you're, you're easy to venture out, you know. You're much easy to venture out when you get older and everything. So... No, I'm just saying when you raised in a religion as a child, you're easy to venture out than when you become, when you find Jesus or Allah when you're like 20 years old or teenager. You don't venture out as much. But when you're a child up in it and you're raised up in it, it's easy for you to venture out. 
That's what I'm saying. So I used to venture out, but I used to venture out on my TV set. And we had the station in Philadelphia, Channel 35. I think it was Channel 35. And they played all of this Christian stuff. So I found myself saying, okay, let me just look at what they got here. Let me look at what they got. And what marveled me about it is that it was so damn exciting. Now, keep in mind, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. I'm going to study Jehovah's Witness and all this shit. I was just so impressed. I was just so impressed, man, of how they making movies about Armageddon. And you see a reporter in the middle of the street, and he's screaming out, this is really it, guys. Now, don't forget, there's no such thing as the Internet. There's no such thing as the internet. And all we got is the T V set. And I'm and I'm going to this, um I'm a spiritual person of course, and I'm going to this Christian stuff. And she and this is reported in the middle of the street. And she's saying it's really happening, guys. This is really it. This is Armageddon actually happening. Some people say it is anyway. But people need to see clothes on the ground, flat clothes on the ground, of people being taken away by the Lord. And this freaked me out because it really was a movie about the book of Revelation and all this. You know. So it freaked me out. And I found myself, I want to see that. Now, I'm supposed to be, you know, with Jehovah's Witness. I'm like, I want to see that. I would love because in Jehovah's Witness, all we got is the drama tapes. Anybody know about Jehovah's Witness, all we got is the drama tapes. That's all we have. We have the drama tapes, and we have the melodies that we could get, and we have some documentaries that we got on VHS, like Purple Triangle and a couple other things. That's all we have. Dude, that's all we had. Dude, the rest of the religion is re, 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 nothing but straight re. Watchtower magazines, Awake magazines, read your ass off to you. I swear to God, you you are one re son of a bitch. And if we didn't want to read, we had drama teams. Then we had the spiritual melodies. Then we had um, documentaries, which came in handy. But when that was over, and those drama tapes was over, we had no more drama tapes. We had to go right back to reading again. It's just, re it's a read in religion, dude. Read, 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 read. <clears throat> now, I come over here to Christian, and I was upset because they had so much shit. And as an artist, the way I was, it's something about me. Y'all know how I am around RVT. I'm just making sense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, sweetie. They know how we are around here. We so creating asses. So it's like, I'm, it's in me to create. And I'm thinking like, why we got to settle for this? Why I can't? So I had a study teacher. And I, and, I, and I had a Bible study thing. And I went over his house, you know. That's how I got a question to ask you. He said, what is it, Rashid? What is it? I said, why do we read? I said, I was looking at Christian, the, the um, Christian fucking shit on Channel 35. And somehow he knew what I was talking about. He was a, he's a white man and everything. I said, answer me a question. He said, what is it, about Jesus? I said, why we got it? I said, why we don't have what they have? I didn't mean like I was selling, um, what is it? Uh, uh, sad as, yeah, not like, um, uh, not satisfied of Jehovah's provision. Yeah, I guess we could say that. Unapp yeah, unappreciated. I I wasn't saying unappreciated of Jehovah's Jehovah's provision. That's not what I was doing. But I just wanted to know how come we didn't have that stuff. Where is all our shit at? We I mean we go now. This is what I told him. This is what I told him. I said when we go to the to the assembly program. The only time we see drama is when it's in a stadium. And that's when people, like, put on plays 
they get dressed in ancient times and put on like you know ancient stuff and act out the um Bible stories. That's only in the Bat Stadium. When we go to Buckingham, there's no drama there. I mean, they should have it there too. Meaning, what I'm trying to say is, we don't have anything. That's a big stage in Buckingham. You mean to tell me all that room you can't get do the same drama stuff for us on stage? That's a bit. That would have been awesome to see. It would have been like you going to like, honey. I got an idea. My wife said, what? Let's get dressed and go to the show. It's the Nutcracker playing at the Merriam Theater or whatever. She said, okay, we get the family together. We go to Merriam Theater on stage. It would have been like that if we would have saw a drama thing on stage at Buckingham. And they turned out the lights and they really made it like a show. Why couldn't we have something? Think about it. In Buckingham, they turn out the lights now. And we see a stage and they acted out, I don't know, uh, David and Goliath or something. Why not have something like that? Why? I mean, we don't have, as I was trying to tell my, stu ask my study teacher. Why we ain't got, why we ain't got nothing? Why Christians got all the fun? Why they got everything? He said, he said, Rashid, let me tell you something. He said, this is what he said. He said, Rashid, let me tell you something. There's no explanation why, meaning he didn't even know why. But he understood what I was talking about. He said, there's no explanation or reason why it's like that. But we just have to take what we got. I said, his name was Pastor Mr. P. I mean, like, these Christians got everything. They got Revelation movies. They got the end of the world movies. They got, we don't got nothing. We have nothing. All we have is just a few drama tapes, like four drama, and we got to listen to them over and over and over again. Why don't we have anything like they have? And not, it's not like I was being you know, unappreciative of Jehovah's provision. I just wanted to know what was the reason behind it. got to be some spiritual reason behind it. Is something wrong with it? What they doing, is it wrong? What they doing? Making these Christian movies, is it in the Bible? Is it no way in the Bible so you can't do this stuff? So I just wanted to know why we ain't got what they have, like just as much stuff as they have. He had no answer. But when you want to compare the reading material, we'll I'll blow them motherfuckers by like 100 to 1 when it comes to reading material. I mean, like, don't it. It's nothing but reading. It's nothing but reading. Basically, it's nothing but reading. But visual effects is like none. It's like absolutely none. Nowadays, the new Jehovah's Witness, nowadays, now this is going back in the 90s. Nowadays, I think it changed a little bit. I think, yeah, I think they have a lot of visual, because they have a, a website now. They have a shows on a website. They have animation cartoons now. And this stuff was not out when we, when I was complaining in the 90s. This is when Clinton was president. I was a cab driver. Let me blow my nose. Shit. So now it's different. Now it's different. They didn't have the shit that the stuff they got now. They didn't have before, dude. You know, I went. I take a peek of it now. Now they got a Jehovah's Witness broadcast. And if I was a Jehovah's Witness, I told y'all, y'all ain't no way I wouldn't be on that that thing, the way I was. But the point is, back in the nineties. They had, that's all they had, well, they had nothing, but now social media is here, they have a little something. So what I'm trying to say is, I was always fascinated with this Christian movie stuff. I was always fascinated with it, dude. I was more so fascinated then than now, because I got my cult now. I don't need to look at this stuff no more. Yes, I think we got our own shit now, so we don't, but I'm telling you, I was just, I found a world weird. I found a world court that the station itself wasn't in HD. It was kind of fuzzy, you know. And they had this stuff on there. Like movies of 
Lanzer, no, the movie, not a documentary. We talk about like a Hollywood movie. And I'm like, wow, they really do stuff. You know, they really do stuff. They make the scriptures come to life. And I thought that was fucking fascinating. And I was just wondering why why we ain't have it. Joe Winters ain't have it. And I was upset. Now it's just, uh, this pure flicks now, now it's just outrageous with Christian material now. It's outrageous. It's like it's never ending. You got never ending stuff with Christianity movies and stuff. It goes on and on. You got, you got, um, stand up comedians, you concerts, we saw that. And I, fi and now I feel funny. I feel odd. Because, you know, in my cult, we can go out and venture out into. I told you we was friends. We friends with the Mor. We okay with the Mormons. We went to the Sadducees and went to the church service. So we okay with the Mormons. So we can venture out and, and find out about other people's faith and all. We ain't gotta do that. Like when you're Jehovah Witnesses, never go into a church because Satan gonna get you. It was always just fear and shit. Never step into a church because Satan gonna get you. You know, all this stuff. Demons gonna come in your body if you step in the church. It's always just fear and shit. The end of the world coming at any time. Fear, 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 fear. Now, we're not like that. Now we can venture out and discover other religions and stuff like that. Which makes everything interesting and okay. And, you know. So it's kind of an interesting thing. It's, it's kind of a real interesting thing that to know, you know. How far we came as Christians in entertainment, you know, in, in, because it's all it's in us to want to be entertained. It's in us. We can't get rid of it. It's how we create it. It just it's it's, it's it just depends on yeah the the the, the material. It depends on the material. You know, it's up. In other words, what I'm trying to say is up to us. Sorry, guys, if I can't think properly. It's just I'm just waking up out of bed and I got a bathroom washed up and I, and I gotta go out and it's like, okay, I got I'm gonna go in the air and make something. You know. Check this out a bit. don't make no sense that we don't have what they have. <laughs> I was really upset, dude. I was really upset that we didn't. We could, I was like, we could do that. And I was that kind of Christian. I was that kind of Christian. I was always, you know, 
hey, this is who we are, and stuff like that, and they was always looking at me like, okay, Rashi, calm down, and I've been that way ever since I was a child, basically, teamwork and all that shit, that's the kind of person I am, I see why I went through my hard times and shit, when, uh, coming up and everything, they got sick of my ass, my teamwork ass, Teamwork, teamwork, that's all I care about. Teamwork. And that's why I'm glad that I ain't got to worry about that now because we got RVT and I do my shit myself. And I don't worry about motherfuckers, you know, niggas telling me, you know, ride, 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 ride. Ain't no teamwork, man. It's this and I ain't got to worry about shit like that no more. I can just do my shit and not worry about motherfuckers no more. And I feel good about that. I just feel real good about that, you know. And I ain't got to worry about T. I got my son decent people now. And we, and we all with that T. You know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that don't even make sense. It's just who we are. You know, it's just who we are. You know, because nobody like that T works shit, you know. And I found out the hard way. And shit. So I found out the hard way. And I bought it in... Religion. I brought in religion. We can have that too, guys. And he's like, Rashid, here you go again. And we do things this way. I say, but we, can't you see this? Is, I ain't going to say it's boring because it's Jehovah's provision. But we can have more. We can really, you know, all oh, the shit. And I say, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Now that I'm out, yeah, now they get everything when I'm out of it. I mean, I ain't Christian no more. Now they get every goddamn thing. <laughs> ain't this some shit? Now they get everything. Now that I'm not a Christian no more. Ain't that a, ain't that a goddamn trip? What do y'all think about Pure Flix, dude? You, I mean, I know y'all heard about it. I know y'all heard about it. What do you think about it? What do you think about Christian entertainment in general? What comes to your mind? You think that's a good idea? I think it's a good idea. I always thought it was a good idea. They just didn't ever fucking listen to me. I always say, well, she, he you go with these ideas again. It's, like, it's not an idea, man. You're not listening. What is wrong with us having what they have? They have every damn thing. And we got nothing. You understand that? What the hell is wrong with you? Can't you see that? We have nothing. We have nothing. We can have what they have. We can have entertainment. We ain't got to be reading all the damn time. We can sit back and watch. We got drama, take Yeah, but how many drama? I mean, well, we got four or five. After that's over, we look and we re repeat that the shit. I said, why not? Why can't we have the a never-ending supply of Jehovah of Jehovah's content? We ain't never got to worry about And we always be in, it's easy for us to walk with Jehovah. But I don't think that's the argument they was going for. It's, uh, you know. I don't think that was the... Yeah, that wasn't the argument they was going for. But, but it made for a good argument. That's all I'm saying. It made for a good argument. It's easy to walk with the Lord when you have... Or should I say? How should I say that? I ain't going to say something to see, because we walk by faith. Y'all know that. We walk by faith. We don't need nothing to see. 
But at the same time, it's easier to walk with the Lord when you have, I don't know, fun recreation in it. You know? I ain't gonna say nothing, you know, this thing and the other, but fun recreation. You just ask me an interesting question, sweetheart. Yeah, you just ask me an interesting question. You ask me, um, you forgot. No, you know, you said, why did I, why don't we need it now? Because we have our own shit now. But it was something else you asked. I forgot, I, I forgot what it was. I totally forgot what it was. But you asked another interesting question there. I just, I wanted, I know, I, you forgot what it was, I know. Because I'm focused on this picture. I'm drawing this picture right now while I'm talking to you guys on the phone. I mean, on the internet. See, I, I'm not thinking right, guys. I'm really not thinking right because I just woke up and I got to go out and take in some shit. So, I'm really not thinking right. But this, damn it. <laughs> I was just like, why don't we have what they have? You know what I'm saying? I wanted what I, I ain't gonna say. I, I'm never gonna say I wanted what they had. That's boy. I, I was happy with your whole provision. I was just asking why didn't we have much content as they had? I'm satisfied with your whole provision. I'm never gonna say I wanted what they had. And all this. I, I'm never gonna say that. But I was just wondering why we didn't have as much as they had when it came to entertainment. I understand it. I understand that part. Why should they have more? Why should they have? I mean, I can't. I turn on the goddamn um, thing. And they running around and shit. Ah, ah. They're like, our bodies are disappearing. They brought the book of Revelation to life. I swear to God, they brought the book of Revelation to life. And I was wondering, like, well, God damn, why, wow, that's amazing, you know. I'm taking peaks over there, you know, because the Joe Witness ain't supposed to take no damn peaks. He ain't supposed to take no peaks. That's the Joe Witness. You. As I'm wanting to go witness, I was, you know, y'all get it. But leaders to say you ain't supposed to take no goddamn peach. I don't give a damn. You know, peach. But I was taking peach over there, like, look at these guys, dude. They got all this fun shit, like Armageddon. Uh, people running all over the place. And I say, man, that's awesome, dude, to bring uh, the scriptures to life like that. That's really creative, so I, I took that right to the elder, I said, what's going on, why can't we do that, what's wrong with us doing stuff like that, creating stuff like that, he didn't have a real answer, yeah, he didn't, no, he didn't give me a real answer about that, he didn't give me a real straight out answer about why, they, it's just, we don't do things that way, that's basically what he said, we just don't do things that way. So I had to go with that. Okay, we just don't do things that way. All right. Okay. If that's all we got, he's the elder, so Jehovah's provision, I had to go with that. And say, okay, we don't do things. But it would be so cool to make religion, you know, like come to life. You know, rather than read, because Joe Winnis, you just read and ask. You, you want to read yourself a bitch. I ain't going to lie to you about that. You want to read and ask, dude. It was to the point where I started getting warped. Yeah, because I was listening to this stuff so much. And you know how stuff starts sounding different. And that's how I came up to the conclusion of people that's reading the Bible so much. There's no way they ain't getting warped by it because you, you baptizing yourself in the same words over and over again. There's no way. You ain't getting warped in your thinking. I know you are. I mean, you read something over and over and over again, eventually the shit going to start looking shaky to you. That's just a natural brain effect.
you know. But that's what started to ha that's what you know I started to happen to me. Then it's like, all right, look at the reasoning book. Read out the reasoning book. Everybody's scared of that brown book. The oh, fuck that you read on no damn reasoning book. Uh uh, that's condemnation shit. Fuck that. You don't want to read on no. So ain't that much reading in the world, you know. I'm at least I'm being honest about it. All right, you want to read something? Read out the reasoning book. No, nah, reasoning book. That's a hard book, there. Yeah, that's that's a hard book there. Yeah, you will die. I don't the reason book don't care. I tell you just start straight out. Joel Witness, no. You will die. It's that simple. Next question. It's like damn, this ain't the watchtower, that's for sure. So I ain't reading on a reason book, for Christ's sake. Hell with that ain't that much. I don't want it that much now. Let's not get confused. Let's not get confused. I don't want it that much. Do I swear to God, dude, you know? I was just wondering, you know, why we have this, that, and I don't know. I wasn't starting to trouble or nothing. I just wanted to know why, you know. I just find that now I find it just fascinating. These, these Christian movies, I'm just... I feel like I'm getting, I ain't going to say we get hooked on them. I ain't going to say hooked. But we just find them fascinating. I'm like, okay, here's another one. Let's see what this one's about, you know. And they're pretty damn good. They're not, they're not bad. <laughs> they're not bad. They're not bad. They're not bad at all. Then it gets, you know, it gets kind of crazy. The movies get kind of crazy, you know. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I wasn't complaining about it by far. Pure flex. Now they're getting money off it. Now they're getting paid. See, we don't have that stuff here. You be reading the fuck out. I used to be mad. I used to read it. I used to be reading the fuck out, dude. I ain't lying to y'all. I used to be reading the hell out. I couldn't read no more. I see if I read any more, man. My eyes gonna fall right out my goddamn head. I was like that. Couldn't read no more, dude. I couldn't. I couldn't. Couldn't handle it. Not too much. Give an offering. You just give an offering, and we'll talk about it in the chambers. Give an offer. I ain't got no money. I ain't got. I got. I ain't got no money like that. Come on now, give an offer. I ain't got no money, guys. I'll talk to you. I'll be back tomorrow. And uh, you want Netflix? No, I want Netflix. I'll be back tomorrow. Well, get off it. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, and thanks for stopping by. See you later. Give off.